Recently, the ransomware gang Ragnar Locker had their dark web onion leak site seized and taken down in a law enforcement operation. Here was a recent bleeping computer article, Ragnar Locker ransomware's dark web extortion site is seized by the police. Now if you dig into the article, Europol spokesperson does say and confirm that the seizure message is legitimate. And in case you aren't familiar with Ragnar Locker, who we've shown on this channel before in other videos, Ragnar Locker is one of the longest running ransomware operations. It is typical ransomware, right? It would compromise the network, spread laterally to different devices, steal all the data, and then encrypt the file systems in the hard drive to hold that for ransom. This is a sample of their ransom note, but it's basic, whatever, boilerplate ransomware with fear, uncertainty, and doubt, screaming and shouting to make it spooky. One of the interesting tidbits, though, is that Ragnar Locker was not really a ransomware as a service or RAS operation. It wouldn't include other affiliates or other folks that would end up breaching networks and then deploy ransomware after them on their behalf. They would end up just being semi private. They did not actively promote their operation to try to recruit others to help out in affiliate work, but they just work with outside pen testers to breach networks. And on that note that Ragnar Locker is one of the longer running ransomware strains, this is an article from February 10th, way back in 2020, when Ragnar Locker was first getting into action and they were abusing a whole lot of managed service provider tooling, like remote monitoring and management or RMM tools. Think a Kaseya VSA or I don't know, ConnectWise Control it might be up to, Screen Connect now. If you actually dug into those early renditions of Ragnar Locker, it would end up enumerating all the Windows services and look for specific strings that are oftentimes related to managed service provider tooling, like ConnectWise, Kaseya, you can see Pulseway and Veeam in here. It's kind of weird looking back in the past because we'd always seen chatter, especially now, it's a theme to end up using RMM by MSPs to end up abusing and beating up the environment. We got Kyle, hey, uh, CEO over at my uh, day job here saying, look, Ragnar Locker has been deployed by MSP Software ConnectWise. And we can go see it if we really want. This is Ragnar Locker's Dark Web Onion leak site. You can see the text here. Look, this service has been seized as part of a coordinated international law enforcement action against the Ragnar Locker group. So it has been taken down. However, that's not to say that they're just going to, I don't know, scurry away, rebrand, and start their own operation all over again under a different pseudonym. We can chat about that in just a moment, but I do want to go see, hey, what are folks saying about this? Can we track what's going on over in the dark web for folks talking about Ragnar Locker being taken down. Now, I do have alerts set up for myself to see like, hey, when there is new ransomware activity, when another company has been ransomed and their data is leaked, published out on the dark web and their ransomware gang's leak sites, right? The thing is, I don't have an alert for when a ransomware gang is taken down. With that said, obviously, kudos and credit to law enforcement, all their incredible work, but let's go see what uh, storm that has kicked up. So I am over here in flare.io, link in the description if you're kind of interested in this thing. You can see, hey, how I have put together over from my team the Slack alerts for a new ransomware uh, indicators. That is all totally custom, by the way. Like, hey, you can actually go ahead and create your own alert if you wanted to. Send it over email, Azure, Jira, whatever. And you could kind of specify what it is that you want to be looking for whenever you're trying to get alerts specific to unique tags or identifiers. Anyway, let's go over to events here. Toggle over to the global section and let's just look for Ragnar Locker. That's really it. I'm gonna search for that and here we go. What are they up to? Obviously a little boom and chatter uh, in the early days recently, uh, October 19th and October 20th. We can see some of the low indicators or other information that might just be in random GitHub repositories, but we can see some Telegram conversations, some chatter that folks were having over on the English version of Darknet News. Oh, they have pictures here. Here you can see the actual display of the website, just as we got to see a moment ago. And this is pretty wild. You can see actually like, hey, the operators, the organizations doing the law enforcement action uh, and seeing that all put together. If that's not a pretty clear hint to you, don't do cybercrime because you're gonna get taken down. Don't be criming. Here is over here on Breach Forums. You can see Ragnar Locker Ransomware has been seized to include the Onion URL if we want to go check it out. I do really love that Flare has added those image supports because I didn't really want to have to jump into the Telegram chat for that sort of thing, but going to like a Tor Onion URL, totally cool with. That's fine by me. Here it is. This is Thursday, October 19th. Ragnar Locker website service on the dark web has been seized. If anyone knows where to find the new website, please let me know. And they do reference, okay, Europol's press release all about it. We could dig into that if we really wanted to, but man, it's going to be pretty hefty. I never understood the whole part of seizing a web page. They'll just come back with a different name in a new website in two weeks. Eh, 
that is a fine point in some cases. I think we saw with, what, the Hive ransomware, kind of at the beginning of this year, there was a law enforcement operation to take down and seize their website, but now they have gone and rebranded and become, hey, just a new name, what, Hunters International. We could dig into that if we wanted to. Here are some GitHub repositories kind of tracking recent victims. We'd also see other documentation or just uh, other info, maybe links for tracking cyber threat intelligence aspects of Ragnar Locker. Here's another note of another uh, article, securityweek.com released least one. Here it is. Authorities shut down Ragnar Locker ransomware infrastructure, just as we've all seen. There's not really a whole lot more to really run down on that thread. Like, look, kind of, that's the end of it. The story is, hey, the Ragnar Locker ransomware gang has had their website seized. But does that mean that they're going to resurface or reemerge as a different entity? And let's actually chat a little bit about Hive on that front. This post is from Will saying, look, ever since the takedown of Hive ransomware from the FBI, it seems the operators have been busy developing their next project called Hunters International. You can see a whole lot of code overlap in different similarities that at least kind of clue you in, look, this has got to be a uh, rebrand. Threat Labs over at Zscaler has stated this just as well, kind of pretty recently, like, hey, here's a kind of copy of their ransomware note. Again, short and simple, look, just, hey, go use these credentials to log into our support chat for negotiating your ransom payment, and then maybe you could go take a look at the leak site. I am back on tour on the dark web to take a look at their websites here. Uh, I can just go ahead and log in, but if I knew actually, oh, some credentials to do the negotiation of ransomware, if I were a ransomware victim. I have tried to navigate to their leak site. However, that doesn't seem to load for me, but it does have this weird and wonky like JavaScript that will like manually have a sort of marquee of different phrases that it could talk about. <laughs> some folks were kind of memeing and laughing about that because honestly, if you don't have JavaScript enabled, it tells you to enable JavaScript just so it can look through all of these different like lists of text to display. But I have not been able to get that page to load, I'll be honest. If we wanted to, we could go back to Flare and try to search for Hive, see the Hive ransomware, maybe before they, or, or even after, you know, they were taken down. That might be a little bit tough to find, though. <laughs> Unless we could filter for ransomware, add any specific tags if we'd like. But we could go ahead and actually search for Hunters International. Now, I'm not including a space here, and I'm curious how many are going to come through this. Okay, it looks like they're uh, listing of a victim recently, and the dark feed, ooh, now actually mentioning this new ransomware somewhere group and again in the image to showcase look this is hunter international that's pretty recent that's like october 21 searching for hunters international with quotes and the spaces though you can see the absolute boom and start from the 20th of october as things were kicking off and hey some other references folks adding it to their ransomware gang listings on github adding it to their own cyber threat intelligence feeds here oh and xss.is Ooh. Are folks like wondering what it is? Are they questioning it? URL? Okay, yeah, they're asking for the link. This is a giant post. This thread must be literally listing all the ransomware group league sites. Wait, what the heck? Black Dolphin ransomware is just this random rogue IP address? Let's go to that. Tor, where are you at? Bring me to that. <laughs> okay. Yep, HTTP. Sure. Whatever, not sketch at all. Nothing to see here, no leaks today, but you can refresh this page later from Black Dolphin. Okay, maybe another new ransomware gang, so to speak, right? What's their About Us page say? Hello world, we are Black Dolphins. We help make your business safe and reliable. I don't know about that. Okay, look, honestly, I've been rambling for a while, but I think the gist is, for one thing, great kudos, credit, incredible strides for law enforcement in the takedown and operation to seize the Ragnar Locker ransomware groups. Onion site, their tour leak site for ransoms and victims that they beat up, but still... Another ransomware gang just swoops in to sort of not not to say take its place, but at least like keep the numbers up, right? You can see that Hive, the gang that was taken down earlier this year, has now just rebranded and become Hunters International. And we can find even more like, oh, Black Dolphins. There are just so many ransomware groups and cybercrime is still running rampant. But look, you already knew that. So seriously, hey, let's celebrate those wins. Kudos and credit to the law enforcement operators that were hey doing that great work. And you know what? We're excited for more. With that, maybe that's your news of the day. And hey, seriously, if you want to be tracking some of this stuff, try and take a look at Flare. It is pretty pretty cool and really awesome that you can do all this research and see what folks are up to, what they're chatting about, and what is the state and like landscape of ransomware and cybercrime across the whole dark web. Link in the video description. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.